What's up, everybody? It is February 22nd, 2020, and we are gonna do another video um, because it's getting darker out, and this is when the camera, ain't, or the, uh, it's just, the camera footage through this phone looks amazing this, this, this time of evening or morning and stuff like that, so. Um, we're gonna go do a Big Bear snow rule drive so you guys can, can see. Um, so we're gonna head to the, uh, let's see, we're gonna head to the North Shore. From Division Road. Wow, look at all the traffic over there from Snow Summit. Wow, or that's like the car you're looking at, my bad. So how you guys doing? Hope you guys are having a great day. I heard you guys are getting a bunch of thunder and lightning down there, or at least some of you are. I was hoping we'd get some of that heavy, heavy precipitation up here, but hasn't really come to fruition yet. So I'm trying to balance my, my, my positive, uh, my optimism and my pessimism with this this little storm because it's doing a little bit more than I thought it would to be honest so there we go let's so basically what this drive is for the newer people is we're going to be going to uh, the complete opposite side of town over in Baldwin Lake area um and that side of town although it's the same elevation everything they get significantly less amounts of snow significantly less amounts so that's what we're going to be documenting it and i've coined it as the big bear snow rule i'm sure there's just some some other term for it but i i call it the big bear snow rule where over by the big bear dam you get a lot more snow than you do on that side of town But in any mountainous regions, this is very, very, very similar to what happens everywhere. You know, the storms hit the mountain, rise up, condense, just dump a bunch right there, and then, you know, they leave not so much for these portions of the towns. However, we also have something else involved, another piece of the puzzle that's a big piece of the puzzle. Um, the fact that we have desert out this direction straight ahead so basically once once these storms hit our our south and southwest facing slopes and west facing slopes um they just everything gets squeezed out right there right at the mountain ranges right at our um, ski resorts if san gorgonio wasn't right there guys we'd get a lot more snow but san gorgonio blocks blocks it significantly and uh takes pretty much most of the precipitation and then just we get the little balance of it, so. But yeah. So, once we get up here to the stop sign and head right, you guys will uh, start seeing less and less snow the further we go that direction with an inspection. So look, oh, look, see, it's like clear over by Baldwin Lake almost. Unbelievable, but that is gorgeous. And this guy thinks so too. Isn't that gorgeous? Yeah, that is gorgeous. Absolutely beautiful, man. Oh my gosh, and there's snow over there falling in the lake. Guys, this is beautiful. This is what I love about this place. direction there will be less and less snow that's just the way it works up here and most regions like this when I lived on the big island of Hawaii I lived in a town called Waikoloa village I also lived in Puko which was, was right on the water but when I lived in Waikoloa village um, I had a friend of mine who lived in Waimea 
and it was about eight miles away, nine miles away. And every day there, they would get rain in Waimea. Just tropical, lush over there. Where I lived, I saw rain like two or three times the whole year and a half I was there. But just eight or nine miles away every single day, just about. Pretty amazing stuff. The weather is truly, truly amazing. Amigas en español, uh, lo siento porque no hay mucho nieve, no hay mucho nuevo nieve. <laughs> ah, yo no puedo hablar bien, pero uh, es muy importante para hablar español aquí. Uh, uh, gracias para todos que, que uh, vean este canal. Um, tengo mucho corazón para todos. Love you all, man. Thank you guys so much. I have people from Mexico, like all over Mexico and stuff like uh, who watch this and it, it just it just warms my heart so much. Warms my heart so much. Thank you guys so much for giving me a chance. So as you guys can see, there's less and less snow the further we go this way. I'm willing to bet that there's going to be nothing in Baldwin at this rate. Hope that's not the case, but you can see the sky up up ahead, like it's it's hitting that really dry atmosphere, that that really dry just desert area out there. So what little bit of moisture sticks with these storms after they hit these mountain ranges right here? Um, just they just get swallowed up by this dry climate up here. It's amazing, like, <laughs> just how wicked it is over here, man. Like, we're in a very special, unique area. snow or no snow just like a lot of you said snow or no snow big bear is just a gorgeous place pull this down so we can get a better view over here man so we'll get a lot more snow that direction over by the big bear dam as you guys well know by now after hearing me spout that so much but yeah i am truly interested to see if there's just any snow involvement as i said this this valley is like eight miles in length, so it's, it's not anything significant. But that's just how this climate right around here, all these little microclimates all right here, it's just amazing. Like we're to, oh my gosh, you guys, it's truly amazing.
and then I do have to clean the inside of the windshield. I've just been so lazy, you guys. Man, I've been a very lazy man, my friend. Snow rules certainly in effect here. Yeah, and then right. Yeah, and then it's getting all right. Hands over the hand. It's giving it right, and it. I love it up here, you guys. Oh my gosh, it's so amazingly beautiful and peaceful when people aren't being murdered up here. But there was just a double murder up here. Can you guys believe that, man? Like, what is going on? And it was a shop owner in town also who owned a, owns or owned a candle shop. And God, man, that's just heartbreaking, man. I don't think there's anything someone can do to deserve to be killed like that, man. That's just that's just awful. I mean, you know, I I, I don't know. It's just sad. It's really sad. We live in a small little town, and that's just that's just kind of uh, I don't know puts a puts a damper on some things. But they were probably lured in by like someone who's trying to take advantage of them, and then had a moment. And, uh, I don't know. It's it's just extremely sad, and I wish everyone involved. Um, you know, go to jail and get caught if they haven't been, and all the families. I'm really sorry. I'm truly, truly sorry. I'm truly sorry. So, anyway, that's kind of the crazy stuff that's been going on up here, you guys. I mean, this place is uh, this place is no joke. So we're over in the Baldwin area now. We're turning into Baldwin Lake right now, or on Baldwin Lake Road. You can see there's zero snow over here. <laughs> Unbelievable, huh? I'm glad we did this while we still had some light so you guys can see like a really good example of the Big Bear Snow Rule. This, is, this just couldn't have worked out any better. Energy. 
spread again for you guys man have you guys come up I, I it's just I I thought I communicated daily with the person I was supposed to regarding uh, the place for a few of us to stay you guys and and then like when the time came I'm like so since you're gonna be out of town where are you gonna leave the keys for us or like something how are we getting in and then he's like huh what are you talking about <laughs> type thing and I'm like really like the whole two weeks that I've been texting you every day, like, hey, you have a room there for sure. I can't wait for this weekend. You know, my mom and her team are coming up. A, a, a bunch of my people are coming up from YouTube. Like, um, dude, so I feel super, 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 super embarrassed. But um, I don't put the blame on anybody but myself. That's my bad. So I apologize, you guys. I really do. I really do. I really do. such a beautiful place but look there's just no snow guys Baldwin Lake it is bald when it come to snow Baldwin it comes to snow <laughs> no, seriously there's a lot wrong with me and please don't agree guys please up oh, they're prescribing a burn so that means you have to pull over and burn one a prescribed burn area <laughs> oh man I'm so full of it full of it's and eagles it's and eagles it's full of it's and eagles it's and eagles oh. okay alright here we go it's so beautiful so beautiful hey a few years back they did a Super Bowl commercial right here it was like some guy who was like stuck right here and then like I think someone back no right here someone backed up and like helped them out well i reenacted that whole commercial in one of our videos when there was like two feet of snow over here but this is gorgeous you guys man beautiful 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 it's beautiful man it's beautiful but it is sure cold out there it is sure cold out there it's cold outside. It's cold outside. I'm driving down this big bad road. Trying to stay in my lane so I do not get told. Everybody says it's cold outside. It's cold outside. <laughs> Alright, yeah, I'm certainly a weirdo, but it's okay. It happens. Somebody's got to do it, and it's going to be me. I'm telling you, it's going to be me, man. It's going to be me. So, further, further we go this way, guys, the more snow we shall encounter, and you will see Big Bear Snow Rule in plain effect. The Big Bear Snow Rule. If we went all the way around, this would be about an hour long. And I don't think we're going to be able to do that because there's too much traffic right now. Obviously, there's no traffic right here. But the further we go to where there's more snow, 
the slower it'll be when we try to flee. Okay, so now you see this direction. Okay, over here, Baldwin and out towards the desert, it's like clearing up. But then back this direction, we got more weather coming in. And if you guys, uh, those of you who love Mexican food like I do, my favorite place is Cocina de Mexico. And that's up here off of Sawmill and Big Bear Boulevard. It's in a yellow building on the left-hand side if you're going this direction. You guys will dig it for sure. It's really, really, really good. So just you know pay attention to uh, the further we head this direction which is uh, I believe west yeah it's west uh, the more snow we're going to encounter and in, in a very short amount of time a very short distance these are some things that I find to be very cool um, I don't know why guys that looks like uh i'll bet you we're going to be driving into some snow before we get home there's not too much snow over here in the big bear city area either but as i say that you start seeing more accumulating on the left hand side here but those that's you don't really get much sun right there believe it or not said I was going 40 but I was actually going 30 I'm going 28 I know it seems like I'm going a lot faster but I'm really not so, and then the speed limit jumps back up to 35 right here oh yeah place, the Mexican restaurant, Cocina de Mexico. Cocina de Mexico. It's a very good place. Anything on the menu, man. Anything. And it's it's one of the longer uh, lasting businesses up here. It's been here for many years. I, I think over 30, 40 years, something like that. So that's really neat. 
supporting good, good people like that. I love it. dead man's curve right here coming up here where we're about to turn right here a car coming down ended up in this uh backyard right there thank gosh everyone was okay but i guess they call it dead man's curve for a reason this curve one right now we are on the curve we're being graded on the curve yes 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 So, right here, speed limit is 35. I'm, I'm telling you guys, this town, we generate a lot of income and just a lot of fiscal gains for our town by ticketing people and DUIs and stuff. If you're drinking and driving with all due respect, because I was an alcoholic too, like it, I, I think you deserve it um, because that's just so selfish of us to put other people's lives in jeopardy like that. Like who, who the hell do we think we are that we can put other people's lives in jeopardy like that? So, but uh, yeah, um, that's how they they generate a, a lot fiscally up here is through ticketing people and DUIs, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So um, come up here and party when you're home. Don't drink and drive. And uh, yeah, just uh, follow our speed limits and I promise you, you will be okay. But, well, once again, we do look for that because it's just, it's just easy, easy money for this town, but it makes people so upset that they don't want to come back. So just know that, that we really, our town really does do a lot, a lot of ticketing um, because it's, you know, it's a small town. It's a very easy way to, to generate income. So just looking out for you guys. And I'm not talking crap on the town either. I, you know. We got to do what we got to do. Yeah, it's getting really dark up here. not much but there's more snow over here you know it's a lot more compared to nothing on the other side summit man I love coming around that corner and seeing that that is gorgeous that is absolutely gorgeous man chocolate right now.
just got a call from a Hawaii phone number. How funny is that? We were talking about Hawaii, and then a Hawaii phone number pops up. Pretty cool, man. Pretty cool. Oh, 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 oh. You can do it, man. You can do it, man. Yes. Yes, you got it, man. Yeah. Yeah, just throw it down. Put, put the pedal to the metal. Yes, 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 yes. Got it, man. You got it. All right. So, as you can see, there's more snow over here. If we went to the dam, there'd be significantly more snow, probably a couple inches. But I know you guys don't want an extraordinarily long video with no new snow, but it's just, it's, it's just, it's very cool. This. So, yeah, we're done. We're done. Das Vidanya. Good day. Yeah, we'll just wait till we cross over here. Till we cross over. Crossing over with John Bella. Now, this guy's got to put on his headlights. But it's okay. I see him. Alrighty then. I mean, look at this. A lot more snow than Baldwin, huh? It's not like we're that far away from Baldwin. But we still only got like an inch over here. Anyway, peace out, you guys. Love y'all.